Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, well, we are three days away from uh, Santa's annual midnight run. So I will say Merry Christmas to all of you now. And I will say that again on my next video. I'll get a little bit further into that. But that'll be either Christmas Eve or uh, Friday. Actually, it'll be tomorrow now. So either be tomorrow night or Christmas Eve. <clears throat> but uh, at any rate, um, yeah. Just got this out here for looks now because this is a knife video. People are going, oh my lord, what are you doing a knife video for? You don't do blades. Uh, this is going to be my one or my first and probably only ever knife video. Guys, <laughs> because I'm not real big into blades. I like knives, but I'm not really big into them. And um, so, uh, but anyway, somebody had commented on my last video and asked me to do a um, review of the knife that I carry. So I've carried it for about six months now. I figured I can do that. So that's what we're going to do. Of course, got my uh, 1911. I carried this today. It's out for uh, looks right now. So it is loaded. And uh, so we're going to set it aside. Um, guys, the only other knife that I've ever really had, other than a few little pocket knives, you know those little pocket knives you fold out and pull them and you know, all that. You know, Dad used to carry one all the time. A lot of people did, and I actually had a, a Swiss Army knife. I think it was called a Huntington model. It was not real big, but it wasn't real small, and it was a good little tool. It had a bunch of little different things on it, and somebody decided they needed that more than me and acquired it. But um, at any rate, I never really, um, other than that, I never really had much of a blade other than this one here. And this is uh, my uh, Marine Corps K-Bar. I bought this knife in 1983 at Camp Lejeune. So this knife is coming up on 30 years old. It's 20, going to be 29 years old here in just a few months. And um, this knife and I have been uh, all over the world. Um, of course, carried it, uh, had it when I was out in the field. Um, we'll be out on exercises, and then of course when. Uh, we had to go fight in Panama and in the Desert Storm. It was with me the entire time. So this knife and I go way back. And uh, it's took care of some things for me. It's took care of a few deer as well, among other things. But this knife's been with me for 29 years, and I will always have it. Um, got a lot of wear on it. Um, got some rust here, too. I haven't really took as good a care of it as I should have. But uh, we're working on getting that out. But uh, now this is uh, this knife has a lot of sentimental value to me. So other than this blade right here, I don't really know. Never really, you know, carried much of a, a knife other than like a pocket knife. Well, about a year or so ago, maybe a year and a half, I got to got to looking into it and seeing it really for what it is. That you really need a, a uh, self defense knife with you. Uh, for personal defense and so I started looking around and saw the size and stuff that I wanted I just never got one yet but anyway about six months ago my buddy Tom sent me this uh, Cold Steel Recon 1 and uh, guys I've used this thing every single day I have had this with me every day it's never it's I, I take this with me everywhere I go this is always clipped on clipped into my uh, front pocket now this knife right here, of course, is made by Scope or Cold Steel, and it is called a Recon One model. And you can get it in a, a clip point, and you can also get it in that Tanto uh, blade type. You can get both the clip one and the Tanto in uh, full straight blade or half blade and half serrated. Now I have no earthly idea, guys, how to sharpen this. If anybody knows, please let us know. But and I didn't think I would like this half serrated at first, <clears throat> but I tell you, it's come in really handy, and I've gotten where I really like it. Um, I know the metal in this thing is really good because there's a guy I know at work that just um, he salivates over it every time he sees it. He loves cold steel knives, and he just thinks this is super cool. Um, the thing about this knife is it does have that triad locking system, which incorporates a pin. Uh, as well as part of the uh, the, the um, rocker back here and um, this thing will hold I think they say it's rated at up to 400 pounds on this particular knife I know the Espadas, the extra large Espadas, there's actually a video 
on Cole Steele's website that shows him hanging 600 pounds off of it. So it's it's going to lock in. And the way that it's made, uh, and they explain it, that it actually digs in deeper. It's, as it wears a little bit, it actually digs in deeper. So it always is, has got a nice tight blade. And this thing doesn't wobble at all. And I use this thing every day. I cut something with it just about every day. I've never sharpened it, and it's still got a fairly good blade on uh, edge on it but guys I don't know how to sharpen it uh, I get near this thing with a sharpening stone and I'm gonna have a hundred dollar butter knife <clears throat> so I need to take it to somebody who actually knows how to sharpen it and get them to sharpen it for me but I, I really really like this it's uh, it's a good size um, you can flip it out it's not spring assisted but it's uh, it's a good size to, to carry and like I said I keep it with me at all times it's got two clips that come with it so you can put the clip on this side if you wanted for some reason the blade to be forward or if you were a lefty or something like that uh, <clears throat> this handle right here is some kind of a carbon fiber type material and when I got it the stippling on it was pretty aggressive and it still is but it wasn't uncomfortably aggressive I mean it has a good grip it's not gonna slide out of your hand it's worn a little bit but it wore down to where it's at now pretty quick so I think it's going to last, uh, I have a pretty good longevity to it. Um, there's not much stippling up here on top, but you still got a lot of control over the blade. And like I said, I cut stuff with it every day. Um, and I like the, I really like it. And it's, it's not heavy. It's a good size. It's very concealable. And uh, if I needed it for emergency self-defense, man, it's right there. It's ready to go. So uh, I think it is an extremely good knife. Now my understanding, these things run about a hundred bucks. So very, very well worth the hundred dollars. And this is the Recon One model. Cole still makes several. And um, from my understanding, Cole still all Cole Steel's products are awesome. I know this one is. So if you're looking for a good self-defense knife or a good a good knife to carry, and that's an excellent size. So to me, this is the perfect size to carry. The, you would do a lot worse than this right here. You can look into this and uh, I really like this knife. But anyway guys that's my review on this our, our look at this. I wouldn't really call it a review it's my look at it. And uh, I really like the knife and I use it daily. That's it guys that's all I got for now. I uh, got something coming up well I guess tomorrow or Christmas Eve. Um, got something to show you something new that came in and um, We'll get that going. I'll do a good uh, do a good shot on that. Once again, Merry Christmas. I will say that again, uh, either tomorrow night or Christmas Eve. So hey, that's all I got. Shoot when you can, guys. Shoot safe. Later.